Gillian Anderson, known for her iconic roles like Agent Scully, has ventured into a new realm, exploring the complexities of female desire. Her book, Want, delves into the secret world of women's fantasies. Anderson's work aims to dismantle societal expectations and empower women. It's a powerful testament to the diversity of female desire. The book's release marks a pivotal moment in the conversation about female sexuality. One of the most striking aspects of Want is the sheer diversity of fantasies it presents. Women from all walks of life, ages and cultural backgrounds contributed their innermost desires. The anonymity provided by the project allowed them to be brutally honest, revealing a spectrum of fantasies that defy categorization. From steamy encounters with celebrities to tender moments of intimacy, the book captures the multifaceted nature of female desire. Some fantasies are playful and light-hearted, while others delve into deeper emotional and psychological needs. The range of experiences shared highlights the fact that there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to female fantasy. The anonymity factor was crucial in encouraging women to share their fantasies openly. It created a safe space free from judgment, allowing them to express their desires without fear of societal repercussions. This approach yielded a raw and unfiltered look at the female psyche. Want shatters the misconception that female fantasies are solely focused on physical intimacy. While some submissions do explore erotic desires, many others delve into themes of power, romance and adventure. Some women fantasize about career success or personal fulfillment, while others yearn for deeper emotional connections. The book reveals that female fantasies are often deeply intertwined with their everyday lives, hopes and anxieties. They reflect a desire for control, agency and self-discovery. Want challenges us to broaden our understanding of female desire and recognize its multifaceted nature. The fantasies shared in the book go beyond the bedroom, encompassing a wide range of human experiences. They touch upon themes of love, loss, ambition, and the search for meaning. This diverse tapestry of desires paints a vibrant and complex portrait of female inner lives. For too long, the narrative surrounding female sexuality has been controlled by societal expectations and male perspectives. Want disrupts this dynamic by giving women a platform to define their desires on their own terms. The book empowers women to reclaim their sexuality and celebrate its complexities without shame or apology. By sharing their fantasies, these women are challenging the notion that female desire is taboo. They are creating a space for open and honest conversations about sexuality. Want is a powerful reminder that women's voices deserve to be heard. Sharing these intimate thoughts fosters a sense of community and solidarity among women. Section 5 Echoes of My Secret Garden, a legacy of exploring female sexuality. Want echoes the groundbreaking work of Nancy Friday, whose 1973 book My Secret Garden first brought female fantasies into the public consciousness. Like Friday's work, Anderson's book challenges societal norms and provides a much needed platform for women to explore and express their desires. Both books demonstrate the importance of creating safe spaces for women to discuss their sexuality openly and honestly. They highlight the diversity and complexity of female desire, challenging stereotypical representations that have persisted for far too long. Want builds on the legacy of My Secret Garden, carrying the torch of sexual liberation forward for a new generation. While My Secret Garden broke ground in its time, Want benefits from a more progressive social climate 
and a greater understanding of gender dynamics. It expands on the themes explored by Friday, delving deeper into the psychological and emotional underpinnings of female desire. Section 6. The Power of Vulnerability – Anderson's Personal Reflections Want isn't just a collection of anonymous stories. It also includes Gillian Anderson's own reflections on the project and her personal journey with sexuality. By interweaving her own experiences with the anonymous submissions, Anderson creates a sense of intimacy and vulnerability that resonates deeply with readers. She shares her own struggles with societal expectations and the pressure to conform to certain ideals of femininity. Her honesty and vulnerability make the book even more powerful as she encourages women to embrace their own imperfections and celebrate their individuality. Anderson's willingness to be open about her own experiences makes her a relatable and inspiring figure for women who are navigating their own journeys of self-discovery. Anderson's personal reflections provide valuable context for the anonymous submissions. They help readers understand the broader social and cultural forces that shape women's experiences with sexuality. By sharing her own vulnerabilities, she creates a space for others to do the same. Section 7. Breaking Down Taboos – Want and the Evolution of Sexual Discourse Want arrives at a time when conversations about sexuality are becoming increasingly open and nuanced. The book contributes to this evolving dialogue by challenging outdated taboos and encouraging a more sex-positive culture. It emphasizes the importance of consent, communication and respect in all sexual encounters. By giving voice to a diverse range of female desires, Want helps to normalize conversations about sexuality and dismantle harmful stereotypes. It encourages women to embrace their desires without shame and to communicate their needs to their partners. The book's impact extends beyond the personal, contributing to a broader cultural shift towards greater sexual liberation and understanding. Want acknowledges the fluidity of sexuality and the diverse ways in which women experience desire. It moves away from rigid definitions and encourages a more inclusive and accepting approach to understanding human sexuality. Section 8. Beyond Fantasy – The Book's Impact on Real-World Relationships While Want explores the realm of fantasy, it also has profound implications for real-world relationships. By encouraging women to understand and embrace their desires, the book empowers them to communicate their needs more effectively to their partners. This open communication can lead to greater intimacy, satisfaction and fulfillment in relationships. Want encourages couples to engage in honest conversations about their desires fostering a deeper understanding and connection. The book's impact goes beyond the bedroom, promoting healthier and more fulfilling relationships for all. By breaking down the taboos surrounding female desire, want can help couples to feel more comfortable discussing their sexual needs and preferences. This open dialogue can lead to more satisfying and fulfilling intimate lives. Section 9. A Legacy of Empowerment Want as a Catalyst for Change Gillian Anderson's want is more than just a book. It's a cultural phenomenon that is sparking important conversations about female sexuality. By giving voice to a diverse range of women and their desires, the book challenges societal norms and empowers women to embrace their sexuality fully. Want is a testament to the power of vulnerability, honesty and open communication. It's a call to action for women to reclaim their sexuality, to celebrate their desires and to demand respect 
and fulfillment in all aspects of their lives. The book serves as a catalyst for change, encouraging a more open, accepting and sex-positive culture for generations to come. Anderson's work will continue to resonate with readers long after they finish the last page. It provides a framework for understanding female desire and encourages women to live their lives with authenticity and passion.